Bring the knee. Look at that. Boom, baby. Ooh, that was really good. So yesterday we started out where I talked about pillar one and two, right? But the thing is, is now we're gonna start attacking everybody's weaknesses this morning on the discus, okay? And I think that'll be a big eye-opener for you guys, especially on a rotational throw with pillar one, two, is because we're trying to create, so that's another big common mistake. Young throwers get their legs into the arm here. Do you see the difference? That's gonna be the trick. It can't be this. It has to be. But you're turning the knee into. You see the difference, Jackson? Nice. Turn it. I like that. How's that feel? I like that. It was good. Ready? Arm at one because the knee has to go. That was nice. was better. Hmm, I like it. That was good. Knee to the... Those are definitely better. Long. See how you're, you're turning in place? You're not pushing... Remember, that's good. You got to keep that blocked. You want this shot accelerating. That's why we think about, so we've got this much movement. I'm going to wind. I'm going to wind. That's the difference in the pillar four. Discus, we got to get this away from. Good. Let's go. That was actually better. Thanks. That was good. Yeah, you feel that? That was actually better. So the key thing is, is again, look at how we approached everything over the two days. Notice how we're in going through setup, concepts, drills, then throw. So the key to changing the patterns is, okay. so what'd you guys think? Like, how did you like the fact that like, how we go through the day? So just starting with the bands and working on that issue right away. I feel like that really helped us. So I feel like these camps yeah. are really beneficial because like you said, we got a lot of information and then we could implement it into the throw with you watching every throw. I really enjoy these camps because there's a lot of things, that you, all these little things that you don't know about and so like sort of the more general things like they were saying so mm -hmm. that way you can fix the small things. Like that's what you were telling us as we went through the camp yesterday. Throwing is a great learning experience. Mm -hmm. We feel more like a family. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. I think always throwing, that's one cool thing about throwing. All right, so end of the camp and we covered a ton of concepts, went through a bunch of things, gave everybody their individual cues to focus on. These camps are always a ton of fun. It's always super rewarding to see the athletes make, you know, big progress in just a matter of a couple of days. They're throwing farther, they're understanding more concepts. We call it an advanced implementation, so we're really focusing on everybody's individual things. And we had Jackson Gibbon, he's a kid who's been coming from Washington, so when we started in Southern California. He was about 12 years old, now he's 18. So we've been training obviously six years and it's always been interesting to see if what would have happened with some of our athletes if we would have been working with them. But he's done a phenomenal job and it just goes to show that the, the system works. Hopefully you guys kind of like the, some of the behind the scenes and see how the camp works. For members, we'll put in some video that really kind of shows some of those detailed explanations of the different pillars and things like that. And if you're not a member, you need to become one. All right, you guys take care. We'll see you on the next video. And remember, in the discus, you have two types of separation. So you're moving together, you're going to run into problems. And so we have a couple of simple drills where we're teaching our athletes 